What's going on guys, Greg here, and in this video we are going to go over the loop editor and the mapping editor in Battery 4. Uh, it's very similar to the waveform editor, oh, let me exit out of this loop here, and the fact that you have these start and end tabs that you can edit. Uh, you can add a few different loops, uh, so we'll add one loop here and just kind of put it there and click this plus button to add another loop. Um, you have two different modes. Uh, loop until key release is just going to loop the sound until you release the key and loop until end of envelope is going to loop the sound until the loop has done a full ADSR envelope and uh, the release has ended. You can set the count to, uh, you know, let's say if I set this to 5 or 3 or whatever it wants to set to, has a mind of its own, uh, it'll loop this loop to 5 times and then play the rest of this loop here and I know this isn't a loop I'm just kind of trying to demonstrate what this does uh, you can tune each loop independently so let's say loop 2 I want to tune this up a whole octave it is not tuning loop 1 this is still at the regular key we got it in so this is a whole octave above loop 1 uh, X fade is going to try and blend the end and beginning of each loop or the loop that you have selected to try and create a more um, a more even or more uh, seamless transition when it loops instead of having like maybe a pop or a click here. Snap does the same thing as it does in the waveform editor. Uh, this amplitude zero line will intersect with this waveform here at this point that I'm kind of pointing to, and this is going to try and snap to that on both sides of the loop to really go and, and try and make a seamless again just another effort to make a more seamless loop and transition so uh, play full is going to play the entire loop that you have play range is going to play just the range that you have selected here and play or loop range is just going to loop this range so pretty simple pretty straightforward uh, now the mapping editor is where you can drag multiple layers into one cell um, I went over all these parameters in a separate video I'll quickly go over them again the tuning will allow you to tune individually each layer in this mapping editor uh, you can pan each layer separately you could turn the volume up or down separately this is the root note that each sample is uh, so this kick is living or it doesn't live on C1 but it is the note C1 and you can adjust the low and high velocity, but you can do the same thing by clicking and dragging on the blocks over here. Your edit allows you to add a layer, cut layers, copy layers, paste layers, delete layers. Uh, you could stack layers from left to right, which is kind of cool. It'll stack each layer from left to right, as you can see. And if you were go, if you are to go ahead and press set velocity crossfades you'll notice that a couple lines just came up one just came here and another came here and, and this is really just an effort to if you were going to since this is all in the same key but in a, a different velocity region if you hit this key at anything from I'd say about 50 to 64 in velocity or 64 units of velocity whatever those are um, it's going to try and transition from this sample to this sample seamlessly with a crossfade. So that is that. Uh, let me see. Let me just fix this real quick. Trigger is going to allow you to hear the sample. Uh, if you don't have it active, you can't hear the sample, but you could still select through them. Snap is going to go ahead and adjust each sample to the parameter set by the edge of the sample either before it or next to it or before it or after it. So if you see it just kind of snapped to this boundary here and that's what snap does. So that is the loop editor and the mapping editor guys. I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions feel free to ask and I will answer them. Um, yeah, as always thanks for watching and happy producing.